Well, you know, I told you I'm like pig pen. But I think I am you more know, organized. Some peanuts, you. like pig pen. Like there's mm-hmm. just like chaos all around me. Chaos. Oh. What does that say for you? I feel like. Yeah, let's go back. I didn't do things right. Oh, well, do you have a desk that you can move back Sorry, if we want to move back further? Hey, everybody. How oh, you turned it on? I didn't know you turned it on. I sure did. We, we on schedule. Off schedule, but on schedule. So, I, oh, hi, Rhonda. Hi, Lisa. Hi, hi Lisa. Hi, Melissa. So, I asked Kim for a mint, and she gave me five. I'm putting the rest, all three. And who's the diva? Who's the mint diva? You are. You're just hooking me. Look at that cute. Okay. I'm gonna be like Marsha. I'm cute. <laughs> you ever wonder if Marsha's cute? cute? You don't have to wonder because she'll tell me. I'll go. Y'all Marcia. just find out because she'll be in here later. Yeah. I'll go, Marsha. You look so cute today. I know. I do look cute. Hi, there's Holly. Holly's hey, Holly. To, she, Holly's supposed to be calling us to make an appointment. I know. Hi, Pam. <gasps> Allie. Jackie. Hi. Oh yeah, we haven't seen Allie in a while. I know. Hi, Jessica. I just talked to you on the phone. Is that the one you were trying to blame for being late to Wig Talk Wednesday? Yes. <laughs> that was we not very late. Not, that, but it About was me. not her fault. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. Maybe only like 30 seconds. I don't know. <laughs> I heard Misty over there going, well, so. <laughs> yeah, she's late. Saying, well, I, she's like, I am just so glad you called me back. And she's like, and I'll be watching later on Wig Talk Wednesday. I'm like, well, if we're late, then I'm going to blame it on you. <laughs> oh, goodness. No. Hey. Did you have any drama this week? Oh, there is drama right now. With me? Yeah. What's my drama? Oh. Cameron. Cameron, Cameron, if you're watching, (laughs) your butt is mine. (laughs) Uh, Cameron. Okay, let me just tell you. Now you you said it, so I got to just get it out there. I got to get out there. So last Thursday, I'm driving down the road in the country, okay? In the country. Nobody's in front of me. My friend Sheila's with me, and we're driving them to Bonham, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I guess the truck that passed by, I don't even recall it being like a cement truck or anything. Anyway, a huge rock came out and hit my windshield and cr- made a ho- almost a hole. Mm-hmm. I think if I touched it, it might be this big. So I'll get on my app and my insurance and do my claim, and of course, Safe Flight's supposed to come out today from 8 to 12. So I get to work at 8 o'clock this morning. Just to make sure, because I'm just thinking, you know, in my mind, he's going to be on time. Cameron. Is, it is now 12.04. Like, mm-hmm. Haven't heard hide nor hair. I've been out in the parking lot looking for him because I'm like, she is, her eyes are popping out of her head. Well, I mean, I speci- they had two windows, 8 to 12 and 12 to 5. It's Wednesday. Of yeah. course I'm going to choose the 8 to 12. Well, I think Cameron got hungry. We've got South Africa and Abu Dhabi. See, I ain't even paying. I'm just so in my drama. Kim, you do that Canada. I get over something, and then she just pulls me back into it. <laughs> I kept coming around the corner. Cameron here yet? <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, we got Canada. Oh, hi, Denise. She says it's not coming through on YouTube, but, yeah, we're working. Yeah. We're working on YouTube. We got um, Donna. We got lots of people from YouTube going yeah. on. As a matter of fact, so far, people hop on later, but we, there's 151 of you watching us. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hi, yeah. Connie. Hi, Robin Kiefer. Hi, Connie. Oh, there's Kathy. Oh, my gosh. Kathy says it's 107 Chicago. I just talked to um, Alicia Fortner, um, does influencer stuff. And anyway, she's in Iowa. She says it's 100 degrees there. There must be a hot streak going through the middle. And Kim Myers says she doesn't like it hot. She needs to move to ice. Oh, I hate it hot. I'm sorry. I just, I'm cranky when I get hot. Yes. All she has to do is say I'm hot, and I mean, I am all over the thermostat. Sometimes I wish I lived in a different time period, you know, like back when, you know, the real true South, like with Scarlett O'Hare and all. And then I look at all them clothes they're wearing and no air conditioning, and I just thank the Lord. Deb Luttrell is on a cruise ship wearing her jet watching us. Oh, I almost wore my jet today, but... Hi, Ro. I didn't. There's Beth. Oh, yeah, I just hate it. I don't like the wintertime either. I mean, where can I... I guess I need to move to San Diego. Or, you know, somewhere in the... Melissa Turner's son does windshields. I oh, bet. yeah? Well, I may be calling him. I hope his I... name's not Cameron. <laughs> I bet he would be on time, too. 
I'm probably just like about to cuss out her sweet son. Norway. That sounds good. Somebody said I should live in Norway. Yes. All right. What are we doing today? Because, and what, well, okay, what do you have on? Natalie. I'm on the same thing. It, it looks totally Natalie. different. Well, okay. In all fairness, I gotta get rid of these mints because otherwise I'm gonna start drooling everywhere. I don't have a tissue. This is my, I'm gonna chew them up because I'm hungry. This is my personal Natalie that I've worn and I have wig wax in it. So, um, and it's the color FS10 toffee syrup. And you have on? Um, 12 FS8. No. Natalie. 22 F16. Oh, 22 F16. S8. S8. Then it's blonde. Is there a. Oh, yeah, there he is. There you go. Okay, that tells you. <laughs> Here's the bat on the side. But the the whole premise of today's show is, I thought, you know, one of my favorite movies is Some Like It Hot from Marilyn, with Marilyn Monroe. I watched this documentary. There's a really good documentary on Netflix. On, so on Marilyn Monroe or Some Like It on Hot? On Marilyn Monroe. Okay. Um, but I got, we're doing Some Like It Hot. I did not have Netflix until I had shoulder surgery. How do you live with that net? I, I strain my My friend's head. husband came over and said, I'm, you're just, you're, you're going to be stuck in this house, and you just need Netflix. So, yeah, you should have just thankful. told me. I could have told you everything you need to watch. Not that I watch. I only watch with my friends. Seriously, if I don't have someone at my house, my TV's never on. Never. I watched the entire series of. Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> it made an impression, didn't it? <laughs> Ozark. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> I tried to get into that. I just couldn't do it. You know what? I didn't have anything better to do, but I did get bored with it. Yeah, I just, I tried. Oh, well, the language is horrible. It is horrible. Okay. So anyway. Anyway, back to wigs. Stuff like it hot. So short, cute. Lightweight. Pixie. Lightweight. Synthetic wigs. We haven't done short in a while. No, we haven't. We have not done short at all. Oh, I can't. They should talking about their perfect weather up in Maine in the mid-70s. Oh, I bet they're up in lobster. I love Maine. I do, too, and I love me some lobster. Absolutely love Maine. I, this is just, doesn't matter. But I love cemeteries, not in a morbid way. I think they're absolutely beautiful. I love history. I love the shape of the tombstones. I love everything about it. And Maine had one of the best cemeteries I've ever been in. Wow. So beautiful. Wow. Anyway. Okay, so this is Natalie. Natalie has a machine-made cap. So you get some nice volume. Some, it doesn't have a ton of permatease, but it does not, um, it gives you a little poof on the top. So Yeah, and somebody's asked to compare fit between Natalie and Jet. Natalie runs a little bit bigger. So if you're borderline to large cap like we both are, um, Natalie might be better, but I still wear Jet. I mean, it's it fits me okay. It's just a little tighter. Well, and even like the ear to ear for Natalie for me is not that great, but you've got these cute little pieces coming down, so it works. Yeah, Pam says she's patiently waiting on her Natalie. She's got it in the Palm Springs Blonde, Ooh. which I have never, I think we have it in Petite, but I've never seen it in Average because it's been back ordered forever. But anyway, Natalie, um, oh so light, like Kim said, so the whole thing weighs less than 10 ounces, uh, two ounces, pardon me, nice and vented on the inside. So we got a lot of wigs, so we better, I better stop talking about my drama. Okay. <clears throat> All right, next we're going to do Annette. And I'm going to put Annette on in Storm. And s the Storm oh. color is part of the also uh, part of the Arctic collection that John Renault came out with um, several, we several weeks ago. <laughs> Years. Years ago. It just seems like yesterday. I'm putting a liner on. Um, we always suggest you wear just the wig grip over your hair because it's cooler and the less you have on your head, the better. So when you see us wearing these, don't think that this is something we recommend because I don't, but these are not our personal wigs. So first one was, but these aren't, so. Oh, Kim Myers Love Storm. I'm telling you, it looks so cute on her. So um, Annette has a lace front and a full mono top. So you can change the part. Coconut mojito. Oh, oh won't you bring that some, Dad? To my soul, I love me some coconut. Okay, can I just throw this out there? She's on a cruise. Mm -hmm. Carrie is, as we speak, on her way to Hawaii. Yeah. 
here we and are. Here we are, waiting on Cameron. Okay, so um, this is cute. It is. is it's really cute. cute. It's got a little bit more hair up here. And like Kim said, since it has the monofilament top, there's a lot of things you can do with it as far as like restyling it, changing the part, getting it nice and textury and full on the top, pulling the bang away. Let me have my little speak. Pulling the bang away from your face. I mean, there's just some things that you can do to kind of really lessen. I, I can't stand hair on my face in the summer. Yeah. Because my forehead sweats. And so this is what's good about something with a lace front like this. Well, and I think the color that Misty has on gets overlooked way too often. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful blend. It's got the four in it to give it a lot of depth. And I just, I don't think that color gets I enough attention. I think it scares people off because the first color in the, the code is four. And four technically is a really, really dark brown. Yeah. But this is like just a mid-tone red-brown kind right. of, it's really pretty. But a really pretty nice blend. And so you can see uh, the color dimension in it. It's cute. Cute, cute, cute. All right. All right. What's next? Y'all, Kim's putting wigs on herself today. Did y'all notice that? I know. Holly Rogers did. Oh, did she? I'm not putting them on like I normally do, but, you know, we're getting there. Pam says Annette's going to be in the maybe pile. Pam, you have more wigs than I do. I, you have, I mean, Pam is the queen of wigs right now. She's loving her wigs, and she does such a good job customizing them. And, and she right does on. a great job posting. Mm -hmm. I mean, Pete, you, you have no idea how much it helps people when you post yourself in the wigs. They like to see. It gives them a different... View. Yeah, and like she, when I really appreciated the fact when she cut her, I'm talking to her like she's not listening, but, but when she cut her own wig and customized it, we always do that for you for free, but she, I mean, did, she did it job. herself, and I'm like, I don't, you don't even need me. I mean, she did amazing, amazing. All right, so this is Sparkle by Raquel Welch. And Misty has on the new color they just came out with called White Mist. Raquel Welch has always made a color 61 called Palest Pearl, but it was just a little bit silvery. It didn't have that, she didn't have the it true really did look white. Like a pearl, or does look like a pearl to me, kind of. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. It's kind of had that little. But some people are just pure white, and. Um, that pure white's beautiful. Love Sparkle's profile. I love this because it's so super short. You did good. You're, she's getting. She's really doing this one-handed, so y'all gotta give her give her hand for that. But yeah, it's got this really cute short nape, but yet this cute sassy, spiky kind of back. I I just I've always liked Sparkle. Yeah. And I'm really happy about this because. So many people have gone to their natural color. Mm -hmm. Very few are this white. Some people are naturally, but very, very few are. And um, the people that are almost this white, they want a wig. Right. They're and like, I wish my hair was like And this. it was a definite hole in the Raquel line because mm -hmm. if you wanted pure white, the palest pearl just wasn't going to cut it for you. So, yeah. yeah. And it comes, this comes in sparkle, winter, I can't voltage. remember all the, the Sparkle, styles. winter, voltage. That sparkle is cute. Yeah. It's cute in this color. Cute, cute, cute. All right. Moving right along. Another rock quail. <laughs> now, Crushing on Casual just came out. They make a regular Crushing on Casual. This is the Crushing on Casual Elite, which was new to the line this spring. I mean, I don't really see, I've tried to compare the two styles really closely. I don't see a huge difference, but for people who want a fully hand-tied wig, it's a nice short one. There are not, I mean, I can't think of that many that are fully hand-tied that are really this short. Um, but no. it, again, it's like the Annette, it gives you the ability to really pull that away from the face and open that up for the summer, or you can have your cute bang, kind of over-direct it toward the face and then spike that up a little bit. This is their glaze sentiment. I think this is one of the prettier reds in the Raquel line. Peggy says you look good in reds. You do. We oh, all love you. Misty in red. I like Kim in red too. She's, I mean, I've worn red wigs, but she won't do it. Mm -mm. Not my thing. 
Well, it's really not mine either, but sometimes I do just for fun. But it's pretty on you. All right, this is cute. This is real cute. And this, you know, I kind of feel like this has good stretch, even though it's a fully hand-tied uh, cap. For sure. I mean, you can see how much give I, I get just by stretching it this way. So. Yeah, but ear to ear on this is good. Mm -hmm. So even so. though it feels a little bit more snug, it's it's kind of like I always say the Ellen Villa's like. It's snug, but it's stretchy and Tony definitely. All right. This is so much fun. I miss trying on wigs with you. Well, I missed it too. I was like, oh, I'm just worn out. Wants Sue wants to know which color in Raquel Welch is like a uh, martini. There's really not one, but the closest you're going to get is 119G, right? Mm -hmm. or, or 388? No, I think 119. Yeah, 119. Which is just basically the smoky kind of light gray. But it's but not the have, same as martini. No, it's, it doesn't it's have different. that. No, there's nothing like martini except for Tony and Beverly's Silverstone, yeah. which actually I'm about to put on. This is another really overlooked wig. Yeah. So some people we, like a little bob shape, but they don't want to go long. Right. This kind of gives you a little short layered bob kind of look, but it still has a neckline. Yeah, Sandra says that we should do um, more white color wigs, and we, we need to do that, just solid white. Oh, um, Pam, I don't know what the, she wants to know what the color, what the T stands for in T Platinum. Uh, well, originally, I thought they told us it meant tipped, but that doesn't look tipped. Yeah, it's not <laughs> tipped. And it's not a true white. It's got a little bit of color to it. In fact, in this light, it looks a little yellow. It's really not yellow, but it does have a little bit more color than a pure, uh -huh. pure white. It's, it's really pretty platinum. But yeah, Harlow's lightweight. For people that want to bob, it's got a neckline and you've got that cute stack, so it still gives you a little bit more length here, uh, but short and lightweight. Yeah, it doesn't have a lace front, but it does have a good lightweight bang mm -hmm. that, I mean, even on my short forehead, I don't think I'd have to cut this. Mine has so. more poof than, than yours. It's cute. I love that Silverstone color. Yeah, I have a wig have in that color. Deb says it looks blonde. You know, it's more. It's really not. It's, it's really not. Um, it's not like. It's not like sandstone. Sandstone's going to be more blonde, but a cool blonde. This is. It's. It's actually gray. Yeah, it just has like a champagne-y, beigey undertone. So, like you were to put like. Back in the day when people used to use Fanciful, there was a color called Frivolous Fawn. <laughs> and it, that's what that reminds me of because I used to have clients that would come and have me put it on here. But yeah, that's what That sounds like a stripper name. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Frivolous Fawn. <laughs> that wasn't very nice of me to say. <laughs> well, it wasn't very nice of me to go frivolous and try to act. <laughs> <sighs> oh, it's, it's been a week. It's only Wednesday. I, won't, I wasn't even here on Monday, and it's only my second day at work, and it's been a week. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And Colleen's like, I can't believe you remember the fanciful names. Oh, thank you. What well, just shows my age? I look twenty-two. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't. <laughs> Only to someone with uh, cataracts and twenty fifty vision or whatever that is, without glasses. Okay. You need some high yield. Just, you got it. I got it. A little bit over here. That feels like my liner's out. Okay, there you go. All right, now on to Noriko. Okay. Noriko has a pretty tight cap. This is one of the, I. They've had this style forever. It's one of their classic styles. It's cute, um, short has a little bit more length on the bang, which a lot of people like. And it comes in beautiful colors. It does. And that black onyx is beautiful on you, Misty. The black onyx is is pretty, but I have to warn people, 
in the Eva, it doesn't have as much of that white, like, say, the Zoe or, or even the, the Sky. sky. Um, sometimes they're really, I mean, people will say, oh, that looks like Cruella de Vil because it has that really white bang. This one's a little bit more blended. But this this style, I mean, if anybody out there remembers the old, um, not old, they still sell it, but Sally, um, this is kind of like a better, a newer version of Sally and a little bit less hair than, say, the Ivy. Right. So. Yeah. Cute. Oh, yeah. They say you look like Elizabeth Taylor. And I always say I wish I had her jewels. <laughs> and maybe one of her men, not all ten of them. No, I don't know how many men she had. Uh, Melissa says we're wearing that wig grip way off our head. Mine may have slipped because no, I'm it's right there. That's my hairline. Yeah, you want to go a little bit behind your hairline. <clears throat> You're not wearing it wrong, Melissa. How many times have I seen you in here? You're wearing it good. I just come back a little farther because I have a widow's peak. And I usually wear my wigs right behind that just to open my face up a little bit more. Because if I wear my wig down here, it just closes it in too much. Colleen said she likes my nail color. I like your nail color. Well, they're about to go away. I left, I left them long because I'm like, I can't do anything anyway. I may as well just grow my nails out. But I'm boring. I'm about to be functional. And <laughs> I'm going to have to cut my nails. Well, I'm way past due for mine. But I just have not had time. I'm going Friday. That's why I get this light color, because when it grows out. <laughs> okay, this is a crazy one, y'all. Did you change the thing? Okay. Well. If you want spiky and pixie. We didn't have it in stock, but I think the best color that this comes in is bubblegum R. I have bubblegum R's, too. But, I mean, Billy's for those people who ain't afraid. I will tell you that right now. All right, Colleen thinks it's funny that I say that I'm saying I'm about to be functional. Missy doesn't think it's funny at all because I have been totally non-functional, totally. Well, I mean, when you are in our line of work, everything we do is with this our is what we do all the time. <laughs> When you have shoulder surgery, this is what you can't do. Which, I mean, I'm not saying anything. I just told you, I did lecture her today. And I did tell her like she was my daughter and I was her mother. If you hurt yourself, I told you not to do it. Well, <laughs> I don't think you told me not to do it. Well, I just, it was implied. <laughs> Billy's cute. Billy is cute. It Billy, is cute. you know what's cute? We want to have some product in it. So this looks a little frizzy up here, but when you put product in that, it's super cute. Yeah, Peggy, this would look great on you. Yeah, it needs a little product. It's a little Rod Stewart looking. That's what someone else said. Oh, they did? Sandra wants to know if we're rolling boats. No, we're putting wigs on people. I would probably like get this front part down a little farther, a little closer to the face. and. I. I might cut this, but I would probably just want to put that kind of behind my ears. Yeah, I like those long peak. I mean, and do I know what a pixie is? Because, I mean, I think what my idea of a pixie, people come in here, and one lady was calling a sky a pixie. Everybody has, it's like saying, oh, my hair's red. It's where you came from. If you had long hair, sky is a pixie. I guess. Anyway, Billy, y'all, another overlooked wig. Some of these we don't show very often mm -hmm. because it's it, we, it, we're, we try to not show only what we would wear. But, you know, it kind of is easy just to not put things on that we personally would wear. Oh, she, Colleen says she saw Illumina R with a red headband. I don't know if that, that was cute. Can you get it? Yeah, I can get it. All right. Two more. You need a, you, I uh, know, yeah. Did I forget the G? You did. I knew I was forgetting something. Well, let's do Link and then we'll go back. Okay. All right, this is Link by Ellen Villa. Link has a mono part and a, what they call a mini lace. That looks, like, that like looks good. <laughs> and uh, it is a heat defiant fiber. 
Oh, that's got a good stretch, too. Yeah, I love that color. I think I got it. Oh, and I love the other one. It comes in that, what's that blue orange color? Oh, the rosewood? Rosewood. This one's hanging a little weird right here, which, oh, that would need to be fixed. This has a monofilament part. And this pastel like, rose, the, the, it's a such a great color because the rose is really kind of subtle. And this is a light Bernstein rooted, which is, I always think is pretty. Yeah, the Bernstein, and it's not a center part, it's a um, left side part. Yeah. Um, I think when you put it on at first, you had it all well, messed up. It came out of the box wanting to go right there, which is still not center, but you have from here to here to play with that part. Yeah. So I just personally want it more over directed. Yeah. Which I would take a little it. working because it only wants to do what it. I love Link, and you've heard me talk about the Yellen Villa heat defiant fiber. It wears better than any other heat defiant fiber out there. In my opinion, so. That's cute on you, Kim. Thank you. Yeah, no, this would. Do I don't ever wear short hair. You used to. You had a. Didn't you have an Emily? I know you had a Kate, and you had an I, Eve, and an Ignite. Yeah. I still have them. I just don't wear them as often. Okay, we don't have a. Let's go back up here. Yeah, I'll just add it really quick. Um, <coughs> oh, you're going to add it? I can. Bernstein Lighted has chunkier highlights and it doesn't have a root. That's what Lucy wanted to know what the difference was. Give me just a second. Um, they don't, a couple of styles and a couple of manufacturers do come with a right-handed root a right-handed part, but most people part their hair on the left. Misty and I both part on the right. You know, it, I can wear my part anywhere. It doesn't bother me. Um, I, I have to wear my part on the right in my real hair because I have a cowlick. But, if, and yeah, some people, honestly, if it's not, if they don't have their um, right-sided part, it, it's hard for them to even look at themselves because they're so used to it. I saw this thing on TikTok, yeah. and it said that um, when you look in the mirror, you see yourself one way, and then if you take a selfie, then you're like, oh, I don't look good, or I don't own this or that. And it, it shows you how to take your camera and say, do your settings so that when you take a selfie, you see yourself like everybody else sees you instead of the way you see yourself. I don't know. I'm like, I'm afraid to do that because <laughs> I don't need to dislike myself anymore. Okay. Gia. Gia's quite a bit of hair. It is quite a bit of hair. This is cayenne spice. I, I, you know, I don't wear red, but this cayenne spice color is so, so pretty. They don't make it in a lot of styles, but uh, when they do, it pops. It does, and it, I wanted to wait and show because it does have this darker brown back here, so it really makes the highlights in that red show up. It's it's such a pretty color. It has a nice coppery undertone. Yeah. Um, they make it in a couple of longer wigs, too. So if you, Irish Spice and Cayenne Spice are two of the prettiest reds. Love them. So that's what we had for you in short wigs. Yeah, so if you're wanting to try something for summer that's more lightweight and a little bit cooler than short wigs, <clears throat> definitely do that. So everything we showed you, probably what we have on now, the G is probably, it's the heaviest one that we showed, but it, G is so cute, we wanted to include it, so. For um, sure. Yeah. For sure. And the and lightest white one, what we showed the lightest white one, either the Natalie or the, the, the Link. The Link. I think the link is the lightest weight yeah. one we showed today. I think so too. Um, the and other even the Harlow Tony Beverly is always lightweight to me. Uh, uh, Gia is a style that Renee Paris has had around for years, and they didn't start making it in rooted colors till about two years ago. But if you like 
the Gia, you can now get it in creamy toffee R. Um, I don't know if it comes in sugar cane, but it comes in rooted ones. It, I think it does come in sugar cane. All right, well, I'm going to go look for Cameron. I'll be, I'm going to sit, I'm going to sit Marsh. <laughs> Bye, y'all. I'll see you next week. Be nice to Cameron. All right, Marsha is here to tell us what the wig of the week is. How exciting. Is there one? No, there's four. Four? Four. Oh, well, what did you pick out? Unfiltered. By Raquel. All of, are them, all these... all of them are Raquel. Okay, thank yeah. you. So all of them are Raquel, and editors pick, editors pick Elite and Wavy Day. Wavy Day? That just came out. I know, and it's really pretty, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So, and then the code um, is going to be WOW15, so it's 15% off of all of those. So, um, it's going to be now through Sunday at midnight. Cool. All right, if you uh, want to know if we have it in stock, send us an email or a call. I know Wavy Day's back ordered in a couple of styles. I mean, actually, you know, it doesn't matter what style or you pick. There's a couple of back orders. Uh, and so if you want to know the day before you buy, then feel free to email us or give us a call and we'll tell you yep. what we've got. But, yeah, Wavy Day is new, and I mean, that is cute. Hot off the presses. Yes. <laughs> all right, well, what else do you have to say? That's all. That's it? People Just, said hi to you. You didn't even say they hi did? back. They did? Yeah. They said hi to me? They hi. did. Hi, everyone. <laughs> this is so out of my box. I don't like doing uh, this. We like to make Marsha come. This <laughs> is like a special type of abuse that we do. We yep. tell Marsha she has to come in here and talk. That's it. Yeah. It's out of my box. Did you hear us talking about you? No, I didn't. I was styling. Marcia, what did you, you say about me? Marsha, you look really cute today. Oh, um, oh hi. Hi, y'all. I, I always tell them I'm always cute. <laughs> I make this look good. <laughs> That's what anyway, we have a great day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys next week. Same time, same place. Thank you. Bye.